questions about milk and I thought I would show you a little bit about the different options and whether I think you should get an almond cow. This is an almond cow. It has this little basket with like a fine mesh side and it clicks on to this blade. And so you put stuff in this little basket like um, nuts, almonds, dates, some salt, flavoring, stuff like that. Or you can do any kind of nut or coconut even soybeans and then you fill up the pitcher like about halfway with water and you snap on the lid and then um, you just push this little almond cow button and it does its thing for about a minute and you do that twice and then it's done you open it up and you have a pitcher full of homemade nut milk and then you have the pulp left over in this little thing and I bought this before their price increased this year out of that sense of urgency to get it before the price increased. And um, am I happy that I did? Am I happy that I spent, I think it was $180 on this? Have I used it enough? Have I saved enough money from buying milk like this to buy this instead? Saved the plastic and the containers from being used by making my own? be up here but you seem to be quiet um i don't think so honestly <laughs> but it's going to be different for everyone so the things that i love about this is that it's homemade and there's no like fillers in it there's some things in here like some natural flavors um gel and gum um is in both of these a little bit of sunflower oil is in the almond milk, but very little because there's very little fat in it. So there can't be that much oil. Um, both are non-GMO and organic. And these are about 350 or 278, I think is what I pay for a thing of this. Anyway, um, so I like that I can, you know, make my own nut milk with this without the additives. However, I also don't have the fortified nutrition that these do. So the almond milk, for example, has vitamin D added to it, iron, um, vitamin E, and vitamin A. The soy milk has the same things along with um, calcium. Well, actually, they both have added calcium. And I like that. I like that it has added calcium and added nutrition because um, why not get a little more, especially my kids who need a lot more calcium and um, pregnant and breastfeeding moms like myself, not pregnant, but breastfeeding need more calcium. So, um, I like that it has the added nutrition that I can't really add to this unless I was to buy some kind of calcium fortification, which I haven't looked into. Um, I also just don't love the taste of the homemade nut milk as much, which is surprising to me, but it's just really watery no matter what I've done. And maybe I could learn some of the tricks to make it a little thicker but these milks have thickeners added. I think that's the gel and gum. I'm okay with that because it makes it really good and my kids like it. So when I was making my own nut milk and not buying any, I was still having to buy some because my kids wouldn't drink the homemade. So it's like, okay, I can you know, make my own, but then I'm still spending some money on the store-bought nut milks. The other problem was it felt a little bit like food waste because um, in the basket, there's just the pulp left over. And so I was constantly having to come up with ways to use the pulp. There's a lot of recipes out there for how to use your almond pulp, but, um, I just had to hurry and make stuff that I didn't really need. Like you can put it into granola or crackers and stuff like that. And it was just kind of a pain to have to always worry about the pulp and like worry about using it up before it went bad. Um, if those aren't uh, negatives for you, you might like the almond cow. Um, I can see a lot of advantages to it. I'm keeping it for now because I've bought a lot of almonds to make homemade almond milk. And it's also a really great thing to have in times of emergency if you're not able to go buy store-bought milk. However, I do have shelf-stable almond milk for times like that. Um, it is also a lot, this is also a lot more environmentally friendly, of course, because you're not throwing away tons of boxes and plastic lids and causing those packaged milks to be in circulation and transported and everything. So there's definitely pros and cons. This is an environmentally great choice, a healthy choice. 
Um, also an expensive choice. I'm not sure how much money I'm really saving. I could buy a lot of cartons of milk for $180. So those are the pros and cons. I hope that's helpful.